Hello guys and welcome back to Learning Tacket. Uh, I took the liberty of doing some housekeeping and maintenance in my front yard. As you can see I dug this down and I planted trees on just one block above the water. These creepers are starting to annoy me. And I build a little staircase up to my door. And that's it for outside. Oh, I also put some torches up on the walls and on the ground. And I put the fence around just to slow down the monsters, forcing them to go into the water. Yeah. As we can see, that creeper didn't really affect him much. Anyhow. While I was doing that, my macerator ground a whole bunch of dusts and a lot of rubber was produced by the extractor. There's 30 more. And what I realized as I was doing that is that I'm running low on coal. So what I decided to do is convert this nickelite, because I have a lot of it, into some coal. It's equivalent exchange, so 62 nickelite will make 62 coal. And that should be plenty for now. Alright, and the next task on the agenda is converting all these furnaces into iron furnaces. They're a bit faster and they take less coal to produce the results. So to do that, we just place the furnaces on the bottom and surround them with iron bars, like so. Alright, that just gives five iron furnaces. Let's place them down and start cooking. I need to convert a lot of all that dust into ingots. so that we can continue expanding our tech it world all right like it's let's get all this dust all right so we'll have some i guess i should put here this here iron here, bronze, and I want to leave some of each. Maybe we'll put some tin. I want some iron dust. Don't want to use it all. Never know when the dust might come in handy. Right, let's just put the dust back in here since this is our so called dust storage. And we actually will need some coal dust, so let's just macerate that. And of course, uh, let's just make some more coal. We have plenty of nickelite. There we go. Okay, on today's agenda we're going to make solar panels so that we can harvest electricity during the day, store it in a storage container and then use it throughout the rest of the time. Solar power is quite slow and it only works during the day but it does not require any other resources like coal in this case. We have to burn the coal to produce electricity and then use that by macerator and so forth. Alright, so... If we look at the solar panel, we start with the most basic one. What we need is, first of all, a generator. I'm not gonna reuse the generator that we have here, we're just gonna leave it there, just so it stays. We need coal dust, and we need glass, Alright, so these we have. While I was digging out that front yard, I also gathered some uh, sand 
and I believe I converted it to glass already. Yes, here it is. I have 64 glass. Alright, so what we need is just the generator. And generator, if you recall, requires RE battery, machine block, and a furnace. So, let's get started. First, let's make a furnace and a machine block. Okay, so we'll start with a formation known as solar flower that requires five solar panels, some copper cable, and uh, a bad box which will store the energy and then pr release it when other equipment requires it. So that means we will need five furnaces. So let's make everything in bulk right away. Okay. And we will need five machine blocks. Alright, and we will need five rechargeable batteries, and for batteries we need tin, we need copper cable, we'll need to make more of that, so we need copper, and what else do we need? We need redstone. Redstone we have enough, okay, so let's make some copper cable, as you recall we need rubber for that. So we arrange copper like so. And rubber on both sides and we get some copper cable. And for battery, battery is made like this. And we need five of them, so. And five, alright, so five batteries. Okay, now we should be able to make five generators. So once again, battery on top, machine block, furnace, and five generators. Alright, next thing is electronic circuit. Find iron, cables, redstones on both sides. Okay, so... That's not gonna be enough. Iron, I think we need uh, 1530 pieces. So, and this should make exact amount that we need. Yep, 30. Okay. So, that, like that, and so we find iron in the middle, and we actually need 10, don't we? Okay, we'll make 5 for now. Okay, now we need some coal dust, and I have only 1. Okay, let's make, macerate some more coal here. Get some glass. Glass here. And copper bars finished. Yes, okay. So we can make some more wires. So we need another 30. So five, five, five. And we don't have rubber. There we go. Alright, redstone and refined iron. Alright, that gives us 10. And coal dust for. Come on, hurry up.
Alright, well that's doing, let's see what we need for a bad box. Okay, ah, we need some more rechargeable batteries. Okay, so... Let's get moving on those then, we need... Some wire as well. Only just one bad box. So that means three batteries. Alright. And then... Like this. And we need wood, which I don't have. Do we have enough? Seven. Excellent. Okay, let's finish with these. Hey, we need... Some more, come on. Let's get some wood while that's well, that's processing. Creepers, no creepers. There is a creeper on the other side. Yeah, once again, I have no idea why my achievements keep resetting. It seems every time I start the game, all my achievements are gone. Okay, let's break this wood down. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Okay, and we need... Where's my batteries? Batteries... And the copper wire on the top. Like so. And there's our bad box. We could actually put, attach it to this generator to expand the capacity of electricity it can hold. I think. Logically you should be able to. But we're not going to because we don't need that. And of course... There's always something stopping us from reaching the goal. Alright, we have all our ingredients now, so let's do this. Okay. And like that. There we go, five. Okay, now let's go and let me show you where we're gonna build our solar power plant. Wow, creepers everywhere. Right, it's going to be near our quarry, right on this hill, slightly lower than the quarry, and then we'll build up and down, we'll build both ways, we'll have several floors, but first let's clean out some of this dirt, and I'll speed this up, let's see you soon.
good. Now we're gonna level it up a bit more by adding some materials. And let's get up to our quarry and collect some of those materials we're gonna use. I built some ladders while I was offline just for this purpose. Alright, there we go. Now let's get all this cobblestone. Let's put the dirt back in here. And we're gonna make our walls out of cobble. What else we don't need? This is extra, this is extra. Chicken meat, gunpowder. Alright, looks good. Okay, let's get down and start building. Alright, I'm thinking... Now let's make it level with this. Let's get back to the solar panel talk. Uh, for solar panels to work they have to be in direct view of the sunlight, so that means there can't be any roof above them. Uh, but there can be glass, because obviously glass lets the sun through. So we can add somewhat of a protection from uninvited guests, although if we don't hang around them much it won't really make a difference. Alright, so let's just put them right outside. Alright, let's talk about electricity conduction first. To move electricity from one location to another we need wires. The problem with the wires is the longer they travel the more electricity they will lose along the way. So if the power being generated is not high enough, then there's a potential that the 
all of that power will be lost by the time it reaches its destination. So in our case, this generator produces one unit of power per tick. And copper cable loses one unit of power per five blocks, which means in order to get any power out of this generator and copper cable, the copper cable must not be longer than five blocks. Actually, should be shorter than five blocks. Uh, the good thing is uh, power loss is rounded down, so unless it reaches the actual one unit, no power will be lost. So in our case, no power will be lost coming from the solar panels to the bad box if we use only four pieces of cable. Right, so we should have some cable here. Right, let's set it up. I would say one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four will be there. Actually, it should come into the wall. Yeah, we can just uh, grab it from there. Okay, so let's put the cable. Cable is going to go there. Nope, it has to be higher. Nope, this is right. One, one, two, three. And the fourth piece is gonna go there. And our bat box is gonna go right at the end. Uh, the trick is orienting it, because the bat box has only one output and the five other sides of it are all inputs. So basically we want to face in the direction where we want the output to come out. So, and we're gonna put it like this and this is our output. Okay, well now we can cover that up. And if you right click, we can see the power level of it. Okay, now let's place our solar panels, and whoa! There's a creeper guest already. Alright, so let's, let's place the... Let's actually place this there, doesn't matter, it's not gonna be seen. And the copper cable is going to receive power from all five sides. So there we go, we have our nice little flower looking structure. And now all we have to do is just wait for the day and then see how it charges. Alright guys, here we go and we have our a guest. Interesting. Alright, so now if we right click, we can see our bad box being charged up. And this output, 32 energy units per tick. Uh, that's the maximum it can give out and it's also the maximum that it can receive. So even if you have more power coming in per tick, it will only receive 32 energy units and no more. And also give off maximum of 32 energy units. So now with this setup we can easily hook up other machinery to this and it gets charged during the day and then when the power is needed by the machinery it gets discharged and this is actually not a bad rate well I actually never saw how much the machinery takes so alright guys that's it for this episode and in the next one we'll start bringing some of the machinery here and possibly lead the materials produced by our quarry back to our new base of operations. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, likes are always appreciated. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.